Hey, welcome back to the show. Now we're talking about a program that's helping to lift up young baseball players in the Seattle area. Baseball Beyond Borders helps level the playing field and create more opportunities for African American kids living in urban areas in hopes of growing the game and maybe just finding the next J.P. Crawford or Taylor Trummel. Founder Bookie Gates is now back with me along with DJ Parker who is on this year's Baseball Beyond Borders team. Yes, ma'am. Kudos to you. Thank you, thank you. This thank is you. incredible. You know, Bookie and I had talked about this incredible organization before, but I just want to give everyone kind of a background. You grew mm -hmm. up playing baseball in, in the area of Garfield High School, but then you got serious about the game. You had to go to the east side. Why was that? Well, it was just the opportunity wasn't available mm -hmm. um, for Seattle, especially after the age of 12, and that's where we see the steepest decline um, in participation rates. Um, and so going over to the east side was just an opportunity for me to explore my potential, um, but then I also felt the pain of the displacement, um, and that is one of the reasons why baseball being boarders exists, so that we can offer the opportunity here in our own backyard and not have to worry about the travel or the commute um, in areas that we're not very familiar with. Right. You can't play with your friends. How do you get there half the time? My mom was, I told you, a single working mom. She was not driving me to games. Yeah. So let's talk about why you started Baseball Beyond Borders and how it is helping to grow opportunities. Yeah, it was started again. And the last time I was here, we talked about this notion of pain, passion, and purpose, right? Mm -hmm. The pain of displacement, the passion for play, and the purpose to really preserve the cultural legacy. Because um, it is a game that we only owned uh, before within Negro League Baseball. Yeah. And so having African Americans centered in this sport, I think is imperative and important that we continue to uplift and create the spaces and opportunities for them to thrive. Absolutely. DJ, you are at Garfield High School now. Yes, ma'am. Um, you've been involved in baseball beyond borders since you were 12, yes. how has it helped your game? Um, it's helped my game in a big way. It's helped me get exposure and just play against better competition worldwide. Mm -hmm. Is it? I mean, are you having a great time? Oh yeah, yeah, I, yeah. For baseball, be on borders for our team. We mainly have um, teammates of minorities, so it's kind of like fun just to play around people like me, yeah. African Americans and other minorities. You said worldwide, so is this a traveling team? Yes, ma'am. Has that ex helped with like exposure, people seeing how you play? Oh yes, it's helped me get a better understanding of what I have to go against if I make it to the big leagues. It's helped me get a better understanding of the work that I have to put in and how much fun it could be if I make it there. Just like meeting new people, seeing different cultures, seeing how different people play the game. That's, I, you're gonna make it there. Thank you. I, I, I really I believe it. Thank you. Especially because I heard, ladies and gentlemen, breaking news, you just received a official college offer. Yes, ma'am, from Mississippi Valley State University. Shout out to Coach Barney. <laughs> right. What do you think when you hear this? I mean, we're excited, right? Now, yeah. Yeah, that's the first step. And, and I think this is why we do what we do, because we want them to experience what baseball and softball can be mm -hmm. uh, for their future. Yes, ma'am. You know, getting really good at baseball is great, mm -hmm. but I know that's not what Baseball Beyond Borders is all about, right? That's right. It's not. Um, baseball is the vehicle to advance life and economic outcomes for us, and, and to hear, obviously, the offer that DJ was able to receive from an historically black college university at Mississippi Valley State um, is the first step, but it's not the only step, mm -hmm. because it's also an opportunity for us to understand the ecosystem of what baseball and softball can offer, um, and it's bigger than just the game. Yeah. Um, and we want to see our individuals give back to the community and be in positions to where they can um, make a difference. Yeah, thank you for mentioning the softball too because I, I, that's a big component of it. Um, and it is important, right, to teach as we're growing up the importance of giving back and their civic responsibility. Absolutely. It is, it is the only thing that we really pride ourselves on. You know, yes, we want to see DJ don a, a Seattle Mariners uniform um, in, in five to six years from now. But if that's not the case, he's going to still be back in his community uh, pro providing baseball and softball opportunities. Of yeah. That's amazing. Yes, it is. Yeah. And it really, te there's something about t being part of a team, mm -hmm. not letting your teammates down, yeah. that teaches you something, don't you think? Yes, it does. It, it teaches you good leadership and like, I feel like if you don't have a careful attitude or careful energy that you carry along the baseball field or just in general, then like it teaches you to like care about people that you love yeah. and do stuff with a passion, like a caring passion, and just love the game how it is. And yeah. respect too, right? Yes, yes, respect it. Because that's the thing, is like, it, that is one of the biggest things in dealing with each other in the world, yes. is learning like, okay, you may be frustrated at this person, but that's your teammate. Right. Mm -hmm. You gotta respect him. That's yes. right. Where are some of the places you've gone? Um, we've gone to Florida, we've gone to Compton, 
And I would say Florida is kind of the most memorable just because that was a year when we gave it our all and we really pushed through through our tough times. And I think one of the biggest overcoming things that we did was to overcome adversity, being mm -hmm. down however many points, keeping faith in each other like you were just talking about and yeah. kind of staying strong, kind of like a family. Yeah. I love that yeah. story. And then yeah. you won? Yes. Uh, yeah. Well, we, we fell short, but we won a couple games and we lost a couple games. But at the end of the day, I asked my teammates and they said they were still happy and they still had a good time. So that's all I really yeah. cared about. And you didn't give up? No, no, we didn't. Gosh. Oh, my gosh. I love this so much. Yeah. Uh, how can people get involved, Bookie? So they, they can just talk about the game, right? Mm -hmm. Just continue to speak about the work that needs to be happening here to address some of the, the disparities that yeah. exist amongst African Americans and their access to baseball and softball opportunities. Um, you can visit us on our website, baseballbeyond.org. Uh, you can follow us on all social media platforms. That's a way to connect, stay connected, right? We're always looking for coaches, volunteers, but more importantly, we need your voices. Um, and your advocacy to continue to see folks like DJ Parker and others uh, continue to access baseball. And yes. what's important is that we also have to create gender equity. Mm -hmm. um, and so what, what we're excited about is the launch of Softball Beyond Borders here within the next few weeks. Um, so be on the lookout for that. We're obviously looking to expose our young women um, to be able to also have the same access and opportunities that we give and provide our young kings. I'm so, so thrilled to hear about that. I, I cannot wait to have you back and talking about yeah. that some more. Maybe have someone show us how to do that pitch. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I never could, yeah. but it's never too late. Yeah, thank too you late. so thank much, you. DJ. Thank you, Bookie. Thank you both for being here. We'll be yeah. talking again soon. Absolutely. You're going to be great. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, one group is pushing.